Everybody move here today. We're gonna to be taking a look at the very last symptom that was released this month It's gonna be owl charm Magic bubbles appear on screen now. We have a couple other iteration of owls So we know kind of what to expect. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they switched it up a little bit on us Only one way to find out five to four in the coin booster are enabled as always and funny enough You can see we have pop four magic bubbles with the premium symptom. That means we're actually gonna be able to track Using this mission, how many bubbles Owl is actually going to produce for us. So, you know, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, it should be interesting. Hopefully, you know, it's a little bit different from the other Owl that just kind of drops them from the top. You know, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get some time bubbles. I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's what we're here to find out. A 12 chain. Let's go. Okay, here we go. First skill use. What are we getting here? Okay, so it makes them in the shape of a circle. Let's do that like so. So we managed to get a time bubble on our own. This time we got five. Let's try and save the mic and see if we can get some more time bubbles out of this. Okay. Oh, this time it made... Was it six? So it's not a static amount. There's some RNG involved to this. This time it made, holy, what the heck was that? What the heck was that, dude? This time we only got six, okay. Oh, it looks like this owl can make up to nine. Was that nine? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Um, we're filling up the screen a bit too much with the bubbles here, so we gotta clear them out. There we go. We've already made 54 so far. And a lot of them are score bubbles, which is probably just RNG, but. Okay. Got another full screen full. 69 bubbles, let's go. Oh, look at that. We got a time bubble this time. Yo, this is insane, dude. Like, you don't even have to pay attention to fever time because you're just, you have so many bubbles. Okay, that time we only got four. But even so, we still managed to charge the skill almost immediately just because we had a large owl fall from, from on the top. So that kind of helped out. But look, this is crazy. We still have half the clock on the board and we've, we're already at 100 bubbles. 105. Let's go, dude. And we're not done yet. We can still get quite a few time bubbles if we get lucky, so. That was only an eight chain, so we're not gonna get anything from that. Time bubble? Nice. There we go. I know I wasted a... Uh, kitten there but it is what it is we're just trying to uh clear the screen as fast as we can get back into fever time as fast as we can you know you, you guys know man the usual the usual two seconds left or we're gonna get a time bubble do or die let's go we got one let's go dude was there we could have gotten another time bubble ah oh, unlucky but hey very first game we ended up with 147 bubbles so 405 mites i'm cleared so what can i tell you about this tum -tum right away if you need somebody to make a lot of magic bubbles for you <laughs> for missions vents uh this owl will certainly do the job certainly do the job all right now mana is still kind of the goddess of time bubble generation, but this one can make time bubbles. So interesting, interesting. Very high value Tum Tum though, very high value. Not gonna lie. Fun to play. Of course, it's not gonna be fantastic for coin, unfortunately, but it is what it is. All right, enough, enough of the event. Let's get game number two going right away. 
We gotta earn 160 experience. Easy. No problem. Let's go. There we have it. Let's get the pain train rolling here. All right. Time bubbles, please. Okay, no time bubbles, but I'll take coin bubbles because... I mean, if we're not going to be able to generate much with long chains or explosions, um, you know, we can get it elsewhere, maybe, if we're lucky. Okay, time bubble there. Let's just keep popping until we get back into fever time. Maybe make a manual. No, wait, no, no, no. Now we make a manual attempt. And instant. not only we get a time bubble, but we also... Instantly recharge your skill. Another time bubble attempt there. Made a long chain. Use the skill to reset because it doesn't matter. We're just generating bubbles anywhere. Anyway, I should say. Instant recharge again. This time we did not get a time bubble. Unfortunate. What about now? Only an A chain. Never mind. There it is. Let's go, dude. No time bubbles this time. See, that, that's the problem with RNG-based mechanics. Sometimes you get lucky, like last game, where we just kept getting them. Oh, we got one now. See, you just gotta... Sometimes with this game, I find that when you start complaining, uh, things just kind of happen, you know? I, I don't know if uh, that's a built-in feature, but it's just sometimes that's how it works. What can I tell you? All right, there we go. More score bubbles. Oh, ten chain. No time bubble, but we're gonna have more than enough to get us back into fever time here. Just pop them all. Try to not pop them immediately beside each other. That's kind of a tip, just because you still want to hit for as many symptoms as possible. So, you know, kind of alternate across the screen. Maybe one at the bottom, one at the top, just so you're still kind of clearing. You still want to cycle through as many symptoms as possible, right? So, if you can get each bubble to hit for a little bit more, um, you know, it'll help you out. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Full screen plus a time bubble. There we go. 730 experience. So the other good thing about this Tim Tim that I just realized is, as you guys know, when you're playing naturally, there's a cap to how much experience you can gain. Once you get to that cap, the only way to continue to get more experience is by generating experience bubbles. So Owl can certainly do that for you, obviously. And uh, if you want to exceed that cap every single time for a mission or just because you want to level up faster, you know, by all means, Use uh, the owl, the ool. 11 chain, no time bubble, no problem. Surprise Elsa is actually quite good for that as well. If you have her at SL6. Well, look at that. With owl, we're almost at a thousand experience already, and it's just a regular game. Uh, not too many crazy time extensions or anything like that. Although we did just get two time bubbles there, so that's... That was quite nice. 12 chain. No time bubble. All right. I'm really curious to know how much more bubbles we got in this game because we are at a 235 combo. That is a lot of bubbles that we uh, tapped there. <laughs> so, uh, it's very, very likely that we did a lot better in this game. I wish they had them a 508 mites and cleared. So clearly better than last game, a hundred mites and more. Uh, I wish they had metrics like they do in the events, but permanently as part of the game. I want to know how many bubbles I pop every game. I want to know how many time bubbles I got every game. If they had like a little, uh, screen at the end of the game like they do with how many mites have you cleared and it just kind of shows you all the metrics of everything you accomplished long as chain you know uh, just things like that that would be super cool dude and it wouldn't be too much skin off their backs to implement something like that in the game because it already exists in the back end you just have to show it to your users okay here we go final game 
Let's get it. I'm only gonna do three. Not because this Tsum Tsum isn't fun, but because it's pretty straightforward. Like we already know what this Tsum is all about, right? Just spam bubbles. Get as many time bubbles as your luck will allow and uh, move on, move on. There we go. Let's see if we can get even higher. Maybe we can get 300 combo. There we go. Time bubble? Nope. Time bubble? Nope. Come on game, I'm doing what I can, dude. I'm even making long manual chains, come on. There it is, finally got one. Maybe we can connect Glotzo for another time bubble here? No. Yes. Yes. Definitely yes. I don't want to waste the owl, no! I have to waste it, damn it! <laughs> damn it all! Oh, I dropped my combo. Oh no. What have I done, guys? What have I done? That's okay, we can guesstimate. We had 500 mites and cleared last game. Let's see how many we get this game. And that'll give us an idea of how well we did. But we've already exceeded our coin output from last game in this one, so maybe we're just making longer chains. That's probably what it is. There's a time bubble right there. Very cool. And save the large symptom for more time bubbles if we can get them. If, and that's a big if. Y'all know my luck with time bubbles in general. I was shocked in that first game to get as many as we did. Oh man, I'm making as many as. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I made like four, four long chain attempts at the end there, and I still didn't get none. Still no time bubbles, ugh. Last attempt, come on, we need one. Please! Uh, no, that's, that's GG guys, that's GG. And uh, we ended up with over 2,000 base coin, but I think we're about 300 base coin short of last game, so this is probably around the 400 or less mark again, as far as bytes, so, yeah, 398. Very, very, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'll, you know, I, I don't want to stroke my own ego here, but I'm pretty good with the mites and guesstimates at this point. I think, I think, at least in the videos, it's been proven to be the case. <laughs> All right. What is this? Get up to five boxes. I don't think I will game. I don't think I will. All right. So we ended up with uh, 5.8 million. Score, not the best. We got up to 7 million. I think we were really close to 7 million in one of our better games. And of course the coin fairy didn't visit us. We ended up with uh, 2.7 K coin after the boosters. So would I recommend using the boosters? If you're trying to accomplish something as far as missions are concerned, yes, use them. Uh, having one less Tim Tim on screen is going to make the game a lot more fun too because you're constantly blowing up the screen, getting infinite bubbles, just very fun, action packed gameplay. And uh, yeah, you won't make gold, but you're not gonna lose gold either. You're kind of gonna break even with the fairy and everything. So not the best for those kind of things. It's a utility tum-tum, but I had a lot of fun playing it. You know, just spam bubbles, 
Nothing too difficult, no gyro, no crazy complicated mechanics. Just have fun with it. And uh, that's all there is to Owl as usual. One of the lower tier Tum Tum in my opinion. Uh, other than that, guys, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them all in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for your likes, your subs, and your viewership. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.